Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Would you believe this is a part four? <laughs> this is a part four craft with me. We're still working on the stacked envelope file folder journal. So today, um, let's see, what have I done since I saw you yesterday? I've added some glitter here because all the old I've got these uh, postcards actually, I bought them as a bundle, they're over 100 years old. All the glitter's obviously worn off, but they must have been packed with it, I'm telling you, I couldn't believe it. So we've got that and that, and I put the swans there. I ended up committing, I put, I put that little spot, I added the little scrap that I tore off this one. And I'm loving it. It just needed, I knew it needed a bit of colour. So that was good. I think we saw all that. That's the back. Haven't done anything with that yet. So I've added a bit of um, old tatting and on the corner there. It's kind of like a leaf. And it's just coming down from the corner. And I haven't done anything else. So, um, yeah, that that leaf will be able to be seen really nicely because I was going to put it on the bottom on the first one I did I put that one on the bottom and it looks amazing there it needed it but here there was nowhere on the bottom to put it and then I thought what are you doing girl you should be looking at the top as well so I ended up putting it there and I, I think that finishes it off really good Okay, so I'll just straighten this up. Get you all in frame. And then I will sit my little self down and we shall have a play and see how far we get. Question, is this going to be <laughs> part four of 20? I'm not sure, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm having so much fun. And thank you guys. You have just... Everybody has loved this little folder so much and now you're taking that and you're making your own creations. I was tagged a minute ago, I saw on Facebook, um, what was the lady's name? Marissa Gonzalez, I think. She has made the most, I was trying to find her on YouTube so that I could subscribe, but I couldn't find her, So, I'll, but I'll definitely try and find her. And she has made the most beautiful oh see everyone's got a different aesthetic and um it was all mauves and I just love mauves so look we've got to go check her out and so please whatever you make tag me in it on Facebook or whatever it's so exciting to see your work because you're going to come up with stuff that I haven't thought of and I would love to share in your inspiration as well Okay, enough of the chit chat. Down to work. I can probably put this to the side now because I've taken out all the cards, all the journal cards that we want to work on today. And so what have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that makes sense because there's six envelopes. <laughs> Why? 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 Why am I? Why am I even? Then I'll have two big ones. Oops, for the back pocket. This one. This one. I thought I'll make a writing board. Um, so this one will have to be extra kind of strong. I'm just trying to think what I've done in the past with writing boards. Um, these file folders are quite flimsy, so I'll um, we'll coat it and coat it and back it and back it and make it really strong. So I'll we'll do that in a minute. Okay, let's do this. Enough chit chat. Oh yeah, and these were the inside. These were in the book, in the journal part. And I'm just going to do very shallow pockets. Um... Yeah, did I show you what I've done in the journal part? Yeah, so that was the cover I've done 
on the inside and that on the outside and I really like them they're just so neutral so I thought I might get some vellum along here and then we'll just do tall and slender tall and slender so that when they're in the pockets we'll get to see some of the um, the beauty behind it which I really like so I'll probably have to find some coffee dyed paper if I can so that I, I do like it to write on and then we'll can, when we can decorate the front so I guess I should leave those out yep so that's done they've each got a character of their own oh and I did stamp uh, I had some Tim Holtz ideology field note stamps, I think they are. And there was oh, there was only two sort of suitable in it to use. But we've worked, I've, I'm happy with that, filed, and I just used part of one for name. What did I do with the other one? I think I just used file, and then I lightly stamped a date in there of 1932, which looks really good. Okay, so that's two. My goodness, my Christmas Etsy store is going to be looking good this year. Okay, now, what am I up to? What am I doing? Um, oh, yeah. I do have some... I do have some coffee dyed paper. When I, co when I coffee dye, I just get a paintbrush and my coffee solution and I just wash it either side with the paintbrush because I don't like the paper that's been... When I first started doing coffee dye, I used to put it in a bath and weighed it down and then put it in the um, oven. But I thought the more... I felt personally that the more water went into the fibers of the paper the more it tore I didn't yeah I didn't like it so I just uh, that's my method now I just got a big paintbrush and I just paint it and the drying time is amazing I just lay it all out on plastic I've got a big plastic drop cloth stop talking die and get to work right I'm shocking and yeah and Yesterday, I was thinking this this morning. I had I started work on another one, as you do. This one I've done the tabs a little bit differently because I started off making a boo boo. <laughs> this one was over here on the others, and I just started cutting along, and I'm like, "Whoa, what are you doing, woman?" So anyway, they're back to front, but they look good. So I've covered every page of that. Oh, yeah, and that's what I was going to say. Um, when I was talking about glues and everything and the art glitter glue, and it is it is expensive, I forgot to say, I mean, I know when we, when we crafted together, I was just, yeah, I just used it on everything. But I thought, look, I should probably say that when I'm doing stuff like this with big surface areas, I cover all of the inside... As much with this as I can because these I buy those when it's back to school time and as long as you've got a lot of it you've got really good contact between your paper and the folder and so yeah I and then I use the glitter glue around all the corners and all the edges and so then you've got a fantastic so that has been with using the, the, the um, blue stick and as you can see, it's got great. I mean, it's it has sort of warped a bit, but that's all right. I've still got to sew those down. So they are quick. They are quick when you've made a few. But I mean, they, this these have taken me about three days each, probably because I'm yapping and trying to think, you know, to to be clear for you guys and 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 um. 
Let's not forget the Nana Naps. I'm not I'm not a grandmother I'll never be a grandmother unfortunately but um, I always say look I'm open to adoption um, <laughs> I still need my afternoon nap though So yeah, I can't believe that the, the interest in this has been phenomenal. The extra followers that have joined my YouTube. And oh, I just love all, all the comments too and on the Facebook groups. That's what it's all about. It's the interaction, isn't it? And knowing that it's just I'm not just a voice in the wilderness. <laughs> it's... um. Yeah, because, oh my goodness, there's so many creative. All you people out there are just amazing. Amazing. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited. Pretty excited. Now my goal of reaching a thousand subbies too. I mean, it's just a number, right? But nevertheless, it, it was my lowly goal. Oh! having technical difficulties here <laughs> again um, I just had a big bowl of soup for my lunch because it's so cold here and uh, oh, chicken chicken vegetable soup I live on it it's just so good nutritious and warming and all you got to do is heat it up and away I can go back into the Back into the craft room. That looks like it's got pretty good contact. Well, if I was clever, I'd keep going, wouldn't I? Could do all the little ones on this sheet, maybe. Would that be smarter than the average bear? Actually, this this is a card. It came with the envelopes, and it's a card. But that's a lovely big journaling space. So I don't think I'm going to do anything with it. I'll just cover cover the front or one side. And then that will be a lot of journaling space. Right, so I'll that, consider that done then. That's good. Okay. I didn't put I didn't put anything on the edge of that. Again, that's coming up. See, talking too much not concentrating so I'm going to go around the edge if it'll work for me I'll try and keep this one um, short shorter today because it is only a craft with me but um, one lovely lady I think it was Lynn from Great Britain she said, oh, please keep going and do a part four. I just found your channel and I'm really enjoying it. So we can blame, <laughs> we can blame Lynn for asking for more. But isn't that sweet? That just, oh. Thank you so much, Lynn, if you're watching. That's just so lovely. I think that's the connectedness of just blows my mind with people all over the world I've sold journals now pretty much on every con continent and um, it's like sending a baby off on its international flight I haven't traveled in the world but my journals do it for me so that's that's a nice thought okay let's see I don't think so. As long as it gets really good contact, any glue. I remember someone said that they wouldn't trust the glue stick on its own because all their children's projects that they did <laughs> had all fallen apart. 
but I think the trick the trick is to use lots and lots of it just keep going over and over and over with that glue stick so that you can get it's probably something scientific isn't it maybe that you get the contact between the fibers of the paper and the fibers of the other surface I can really carry on can't I okay so I don't think I'm going to get another one on. I'm going to have to cut. I don't like it, but I'm going to have to. I mean, I do like I do like fussy cutting, and I love cutting out. have to uh, round the corner on that one I think to fix that little issue okay that could probably go under a nice heavy paperweight straighten that out and I think I'm gonna have to just touch up the corners on this one to make sure they're nice and stuck and also um, okay. yeah that's not the best is it might have to get one of those miners headlamps with the light on to see to see better. I've got four lights here and I'm in front of a window and in the great Australian sun I'm either blinded by the light and have to close them in summer. It's crazy. All that natural light. And there's no other way I can organise the room. I'd rather, much rather have the light coming in over my right shoulder, left shoulder, because I'm right handed. If I could have a desk in front of the window. But you have to work with what you got. And I'm so grateful I've got a wonderful space. I don't know how big it'd be actually. I wonder how big it'd be. I guess it's not very wide. It was an old front porch and it's been um, a veranda and it's been done in to make it like a little third bedroom or a studio <laughs> which is a much better use for it okay so need another bit of paper as well okay this is really good because I was getting through my stash of file folders which will mean oh, I might have to go shopping <laughs> buy some more Stop, stop now, die. Stop, 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 stop. Use the glue. Use the cheapie. I don't like wet glue. I 
like this blue one so that you can see where you put it to which is good and how heavy if you need to go back over something with a deeper coat see how much I've put on so that's a really that's what I that's what I'm talking about that's what I'm deeming to be a good coverage oh, not too bad I usually struggle Okay, where's my trusty roller? And then I find too, your warm hand helps. Well, that's what I reckon. I'm thinking these journal cards um, I've got all the papers still oh, piles and piles actually it took me <laughs> it took me at least half an hour to, to sort out from the mess I had yesterday I had stuff everywhere ideas laying around that's when I was able to find that little that little snippet of the green because I thought, oh, I did tear that off. I wonder if I kept it. And of course I did. I wouldn't be above going through the bin to find it. <laughs> Especially as the bin only has paper in it anyway. But I just completed my very first swap in a Facebook group. I usually sit on the sidelines and watch and look at everybody else's wonderful job. And um, I thought, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. That's one of my things. This before the year is out, I'm gonna do a couple of swaps. So, Junk Journal Junksters Down Under is a great Facebook group. And uh, they said, oh, do you want to join and make a... They're all the time sending invitations. I just ignore them. <laughs> because usually I'm too busy with design teams or making my own journal or whatever. And it's just not enough hours in the day. But this one, it was for masterboards. Only two masterboards. And so I posted mine off this morning. They're going all the way to Tasmania. Hi, Margaret, if you're watching... I felt really bad. I felt really bad, Margaret, because I we had to introduce ourselves to each other and swap addresses. And I thought, I don't recognise the name. And I'm all the time on the lookout for new creators. So I said, oh, do you have a... Uh, can I check you out on your YouTube channel? And, Mark, and um, you know, I'll subscribe if you've got one or something or to that effect. And Margaret said, no, I don't, sorry. Uh, and but then quickly she said oh do you have one and then I thought oh look she'll probably think well isn't that great she's a great way to tout for new new members but I'm sure I'm sure she'd be sweet enough to hopefully not think <laughs> so it's I said oh okay yeah uh, well okay okay if you must <laughs> here's the link and uh, she said, "Oh, I'll check you. I'll check you out." So, but look, you don't feel free, Margaret. You do not have to subscribe. But I'm sure. You, I'm sure you will because what's not to love? Okay. See, I can talk and talk and talk and talk. Now, is this big enough for this one? It is. Oh, that's brilliant. Loving that. Okay, brilliant. 
Okay. When, um, when I first started crafting, doing these journals, I, I just watched everybody I could and learned as much as I could. And I just started, I'd had, I had, um, I'd sort of done a lot of, oh, ever since I was little, I've always done watercolors and drawing, um, you know, that kind of art, but um, I'd never done card making or anything like that and so supplies were limited and I just used it was hilarious actually because I just started using keeping all the cardboard boxes from you know things whatever it was cereal boxes or whatever and so now if I go through my what I kept of those little gems I do keep a few. The cardboard in them was really, yeah, it was not great. It's interesting to go back and see how far you've come. <laughs> I wonder how far I'll go. I'm sure, I'm sure someone will tell me where to go in a minute and how to get there. <laughs> You can tell I'm just so happy. I just, I can't believe it. It's just so much fun. Yeah, so anyway, I used to save all the cardboard books and I'd, I had my husband trained. I said, don't throw that out in the finish. He'd just come and ask me, do you want this? <laughs> this would be good. Actually, the other day he bought himself a pair of sunglasses and it came in a fancy tin. And I said to him, oh, bags of tin. But he's a good enabler. And I think oh, from what I've um, learned over the years with a lot, of, uh, a lot of us crafters, our partners are usually our biggest supporters, our enablers. I'm sure there's probably some who aren't. But yeah, it's it's really lovely when they are. Yeah, I, I get spoiled, I must say. Very lucky. Well, see, look at the look at that curling. That's that's incredible. Okay, let's give that a really good. Yeah, so it went well, what I was thinking of when I was talking about the cereal boxes, I think that cardboard was a bit a bit too thick. But the manila fold is good and also I like I like the um, 160 GSM is what I usually use, but I'm out of that at the moment. I've only got 110 or 90 and um, yeah, so the manila is just that little bit strong without being brittle. If you know what I mean. Flexible. Okay, we'll weight that down. That's good. Now we've got these two big ones. Don't know what to do with this blue one. Whether to back it or just leave it blue. I feel like I want to back it. I do, I do, but actually there was, oh yeah, here it is, there was some ledger, because this has got lines on it, so digitals that have lines on it too make good backing papers, um, yeah, I only just realised this, <laughs> oh, 
Wicked, wicked mouth. Wicked. Alright, well let's utilise this. That'll, that'll get another little tidbit off the desk. doesn't have to go all the way up either I can just cut it off there well I don't know would you I think I better I think I better just cover the whole lot to be honest all right Yeah, these were a weird card. I don't know whether I got them from Kmart in a pack. They're, they're hinged. Like this one was hinged, and like this, so they're like these these hinged arches. And I thought, oh, they're interesting, but the 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 card stock in them is really good. But well, it'll it's coming home with me. It'll be good. I will find a use. Paper edge off. That's kind of cute, isn't it? Give it a steady hand. love to know what's in this art glitter glue and what makes it so darn expensive do you know that we used to when we were growing up we had uh, mum started us we we grew up in a really cold colder area of Australia and it'd be snowing and cold in the winter and so we'd sit inside and we would do inside things in the summer it was like yeah don't be home until the street lights are on we take our bikes and we have fun we just we were active doing everything everywhere all day but anyway uh in the winter oh, it was my favorite time because we got to stay indoors and do all that my creative all my painting and drawing and mum mum would usually bring out the sewing machine and make us uh, clothes for our baby dolls or our or my sister's barbie doll and um, then that was that was so good and she'd always cook she'd do more cooking and so there'd be lovely homemade cookies and it was lovely memories the fire lit you know the stove where was I going <laughs> where was I going with that story okay um I've got the oh yes <laughs> And we, we started up scrapbooks, um, but they weren't scrapbooks. They were just cards. All our birthday and mum's... Mum had cards dating back from her her parents and maybe even grandparents. And, of course, you know, um, there was a lot of cards and they were so pretty. And mum used to... She taught us how to cut out properly, how to move the paper around and not the scissors. And we... And she taught us how to, you know, have an eye for colour and what things would go well and filling up each page. And I still have my book. And I was getting to the paste part of that story before I forget because we used to make our own homemade paste out of flour and water. And... Those images in my book, they are still in there. Like, I'll show you the book in a minute. And it they're still there. And, I mean, so the paste was amazing, homemade. So I'm thinking if I just knew the ingredients to this little baby, I could probably have a go at making, um, making my own glue. Or maybe I could just go back to the flour and water. I bet you the flour would be different. So there'd be something different, I bet you. And the other paste, the only other paste we had was in a tub 
and you pulled out the the top of it, it had a long plastic like a, a straw down the middle of the it was all joined the top and the and the applicator it was called Perkins paste and it was in a pretty pretty pink hot pink little jar Perkins paste and it was lovely and you know I smelt something the other day from Tim Holtz and I I went out to my husband and said smell this and tell me what it reminds you of and he said straight up Perkins paste I don't know what it was now but it was such a memories you know smells really do trigger memories don't they well wasn't that wasn't that a fun little walk down memory lane okay so one of these is going to be a writing board we need thick something thick something thick really sturdy paper um, and smooth so it has to be big enough to cover that because if it's a writing board you don't want to have little pieces and lines under it you want to have it smooth and straight don't you so that you can lean on it and write on it um, oh. look at this here is my Here's one of the, here's the book. I've just got to quickly show you a few pages. It's my first birthday cards. Aren't they adorable? Oh, number two. I was two years old. And look at even the glitter on that. The ones that I've got, the postcards I've got that are 100 years old, they are um, even less kind of, the, the glitter kinds of goes, it must absorb the moisture in the air. But, oh, isn't that adorable? Oh. They bring back so many memories. I've kept all the cards too. Yes, yeah, so isn't that gorgeous? Even up to six. Oh, look at the look at the lace. We can learn a lot from cards, can't we? Look at that and the gold embossing. I love those orchids. Anyway, I'd better put this away. Or oh, isn't that pretty? I love that pussy cat. And look at this little envelope. That gave me the idea to fold the paper like that. That little envelope was on the inside of the card. Love this pussy cat. That's so sweet. So many memories. Oh, oh. treasures. Absolute treasures. And that is a 60 year old book. 62 years old. So now you know my age. Uh, hopefully I sound younger. <laughs> You're probably thinking no. No, actually no. You sound really, really old. Okay. Do I want to... Yeah, I do want... Yeah. No, I don't. If this is going to be a writing board, it does. we're not going to write on it, are we? Or can we? Hmm. Decisions. Creative decisions. It's all too much. I think I've been oh look I've we haven't done we haven't done any actual makes. Seriously? I thought that that would make a beautiful cover piece. This lovely house. It had, it had sides with gates on it and everything too, but of course I've chopped it down. I need some book pages that are thick. Let's see. I've got this one. That's a, that's a good size, but they're too thin. That's not good. I've got this one. 
yeah, that's that's a bit of weight. A couple of a couple of those back to back. Okay. I got that one for an I got them from an op shop for like about twenty cents. I guess there's not a big demand for football for basketballers. Um Oh, the Andrew Gay story. He's a famous Australian basketballer. I've actually seen him when he was played with the Canberra Master Can Cannons. He's a good basketball player. I think he, I think he was in our Olympic team too. Some some point. You can tell I'm not a big sports fanatic, but I love watching the Olympics. Is one thing I will sit up all night if necessary. I'm so excited about the Paris Olympics. I will be there. I will be in front of my television. Actually, I said to my husband, I think you better buy a new TV so that we can... He, he doesn't watch any sports. So that went down like a lead balloon. But I said to him, no, by the time the Paris Olympics are on, I want to see everything a lot better and bigger, please. You can imagine what he said. But <laughs> I think... I think nevertheless, I mean, it's time we got a new, <laughs> a new telly. We've got a bit of time. I think Paris is on next year, probably in the spring, probably in the European summer, which would be June, I'm guessing. And that'll be our winter. So I'll be snuggled, snuggled in front of the telly day and night. What the time difference will be, but. I can sleep all day if I want. Well, I can't really. I'll be too busy crafting. Sometimes, um, yeah, so fast forward through this if it's too long or boring. Or we'll save it for the <laughs> save it for those those nights when you absolutely can't get to sleep and the monotonous tones of my voice <laughs> send you into into La La Land. You'll be right then. nice and sticky can I get it without standing up and guess what it's going down we can always fix it later yep that's looking that's looking good maybe put one on the other side might not be smart The other thing uh, I was thinking too, I should get out my Mod Podge and make, or Mod Podge as <laughs> some people, someone said the other day, I started laughing, uh, yeah, get out my Mod Podge and um, do a faux leather, a faux fabric, a faux, faux leather journal cover but they also like it goes really really if you use it with the right fabric that would make a good writing board and it would be um, waterproof so let me know let me know in the comments if you'd like to do something fun like that that's great to use up fabric scraps if you've got some Mod Podge laying around Anything you'd like more information on? I mean, it was just so nice for the ladies who said, yeah, 
do a tutorial and and I did it and I posted them all individually and I was like yep what you asked for is up there now and they were like oh, wow that's amazing and the amount of other people I can't believe I can't believe it it's so much I'm waffling now aren't I anyway it's great fun and to see um, was it Marissa to see Marissa's make first thing this morning I thought oh wow I mean this is not my this is not my baby I didn't invent this I just um, I don't know who who I saw do it there's been I think every every youtuber I've ever seen has done something like this there's been envelopes and file folders and you name it this is not mine I just feel like it's my baby <laughs> until the next project but yeah I haven't really had anything like this quite take off and I think of oh, how many videos I've got up on YouTube now it must be 100 and 175 so that's a lot of content and various things I don't think anything has been asked for I think we all love the vintage I think that I think it's because it's the vintage oh you know what it is it's it's Heather's Ruby and Pearl's papers that's what it is that's what it is they're amazing well that's really actually I, I'm liking that I wonder if I should do another layer How stiff should a writing board be? There's probably some somebody out there with a quick wit. I'm not going to say anything. I don't. <laughs> um, yeah, just just a nice, just a strong enough surface to lean on. I wonder. Well, let's try. Well, let's just. Let's be brave. Let's try another one, shall we? Why not? I can't believe they're the exact right, exact right width. I mean, how good is that? Actually, I'm spending an awful lot of time just on this. I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm so sorry. We haven't actually decorated one. I made it all beautiful and pretty. I wonder how long can a YouTube video be? 16 hours? <laughs> normally, normally I, I always try and make all my YouTube videos nice and short and sweet. Because I thought that's what people want it so um, this is a this is a new thing to think anybody could suffer listening to me for an hour <laughs> yeah but it might all end now might not die <laughs> this might be the last oh dear it's all fun and games until someone loses the glue <laughs> Actually, the preschool's very quiet today. I wonder what the kids are doing. I, normally I hear them, they're usually running around and giggling. Well, there is a couple of screamers. <laughs> but that's all right. <laughs> Probably having an off day. No, no, but they, they're, they're usually noisy. Maybe they're having their afternoon nap. Oh, look, that reminds me. It's probably time for mine. Oh dear. I don't think this will be coming apart anytime soon.
just saw the name Magic Johnson leap out at me. Different basketball culture to the one in Australia and that was underlined when my dad got hold of the video of the 1979 NCAA championship game between Indiana State with Larry Bird. I remember him and Michigan State with Magic Johnson. Some people have labelled it the greatest game ever. Ah. A little bit of history. Well, I, you know what, I think I'm going to stop here. I think, I think that is really, that's really good. That is really good. Okay, so all we've got to do is ink it. Probably going through a whole glue stick. Surprising how, how much you use. Well, is it dye? The amount that you're using is it really surprising? Right. You have to you have to answer yourself. I can't hear what you're saying. Probably just as well. <laughs> okay. Um, that's really really good. See, that's as straight or as crooked as a dog's hind leg. But by the time I sit it uh, under some, it feel it still feels damp. It still feels moist. There's that glue. So that's another reason why that art glitter glue is superior because it dries instantly. Well, within certainly within a minute or two. Okay, now this one gets two images front and back. And I think that I will cover this. So I think I might bring out the Mod Podge and uh, do a do a top coat. Oh, look at that! That's really great. What can I put down the side? Definitely not lace or anything. But I was just thinking to stamp something down the side, maybe. What could I stamp down the side? Let's just let's just get let's just get the picture on die. I don't think I'm gonna do any fancy layering because I want it to be smooth as a writing board, so Although we could put bling on one side, up at the top or something. Mm. That would be nice. I can't believe this. I think we're heading towards part five. <laughs> I think so. This is this has been this has been epic, but what a lot of work is involved. It's As my father used to say, do it properly. Don't half do the job, do it properly. So it's giving me really good content. I don't have to think about what to do. In the past, I've made my big epic journals and then I've just um, done a post, you know, posted a flip through. And that was it.
you get to see the behind the scenes. That's really lovely. That's that's really lovely. Now, what to do on this side? It's got to be a lady. She's beautiful. Or well, this one. I, I do. I love this picture. However, that picture hanging over her head <laughs> just it bothers me. It bothers me. It's a big, heavy picture. <laughs> it doesn't look safe. Yeah. Just not tall enough. Oh, we, that's all right. We can sort that. I do like her better. See what this vintage photo is economical. I've got a reinker, but I think I've had this for years I go through the I go through these domes more than I go through the um, the actual pads I think this is only the second one I've ever had to buy in 10 years so that's pretty economical I like I like the ink pads when they're not when they're not really too too uh, full of ink because when they're a bit drier you get that nice smudge. Now that is nice. I like it. I've got lots of little. Oops, sorry for that racket. I've got lots of nice little papers I could always hide that with. I like that. Yeah, I do. I think that to the right size would be handy. And then inked up. I think that'd look a real treat. Leave the um, the torn the torn edge close to the top. It's kind of like a natural frill. Don't think we'll see that, but well, you never know. was across there. Doesn't that look lovely? You're probably thinking, yeah, not so much. I'm liking that. I'm, I'm, I am. Actually, it kind of looks like an old clipboard, doesn't it? Yeah. Maybe that should be over. What do you think? What do we think? I think I like it under. There's a trim. Yeah, I think um, um, decisions, decisions, decisions. Like 
style. I can always put a I've got this cute this cute little Tim Holtz ideology tiny clips. Look how tiny that is. I'd not seen them before. Um, well, I'd seen them in people's works and everything, but they were coming special the other day on some site, and I thought I might get a packet of those just for special. It's only ten in a pack, but my goodness, I keep trying to open it to accomplishment. Oh lordy. That can be like the tab, just to pull it pull it up out of the back pocket. It's too too small. Oh, it's a bit bigger one. There we go. How does that look? That's better. That's better. Put it up there level with level with it. Or just from there to there across it. Hmm. Will I make you wait until part five? <laughs> you have to stay tuned and wait to see what happens. Um... I am, um, yeah, I'm leaning more towards that. I'm just thinking maybe that should just end there. And attach it to that. That would have made a nice flip up too. It really does look like a faux writing board. Yeah, I think I think that should probably go over the top. Be like, really? God, that took a long time to decide. Actually, it must be getting close to night. I'm going to starting to get really tired. Anyone brave enough to stick this right to the end? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you in advance. Hopefully that's relatively even. Right. 
right and I think this should go I wonder what that would look like folded over I think it'd look silly. It'd come off. Yep, and I'll have this way. Be down. Make sure I'm concentrating on the right part. I might have fallen asleep. <laughs> okay. Let's see, there's the top. That looks like a writing board to me. I won't be able to use my fancy machine to go through all of that to stitch around, that's for sure. But, um, all right, my, my, my wonderful fellow creators, I'm going to love you and leave you now with part four. And, um, I hope, <laughs> I hope we've had a little bit of fun anyway and while you've been crafting along, because that's what I do, I listen to people um, while I'm crafting busily in the background. So hopefully you've enjoyed that, and dare I say part five tomorrow, or maybe the next day, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments, that's a great idea. Talk to me, let me know. Would you be able to stomach another another craft with me, um, part five? And because now we really do have to get to the journal cards. We really do. I really do. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, I so appreciate all your support. I really, really do. It's just blown me away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel. Click that like. Leave me a comment. Make sure it's a nice one, please. <laughs> I'm too fragile for anything not nice. No, I'm only joking. And I will see you in the next one. Part 55, I mean part 5. <laughs> Bye. See ya.